All right, guys. Six v six. Iron Banner gameplay. Playing some Rift on Pantheon, one of my favorite maps. Taking in the Defender Titan with the no backup plans exotic gauntlets. We're also taking in our Fenella's Peril. I have been using this handgun quite a bit. It's just a beast of a handgun. I know I talked about it in one of my previous videos, but I wanted to see a little bit more gameplay with it. Also, I'm taking in the Daytree's Retort. Um, had a few games with it, so I'm getting a little bit more familiar with it. Wanted y'all to see some more gameplay with uh, this shotgun and the no backup plans uh, exotic gauntlets. Um, just kind of show you the build that I've been running. I've been getting familiar with the uh, sprint slide shotgun melee. Um, right here, I'm able to get a triple with that shotgun. So the more you use it, the, uh, the more comfortable that I've been getting with it. But just the uh, combination of the shotgun and the uh, force barrier from the no backup plan just makes you a beast. Um, right here I lose that one-on-one -on -one confrontation. So this is where I make the decision to go with the, the rain blows on the uh, gauntlets. I think that's going to be a better decision in the long run. And that's just something that you learn um, after you know playing and trying things out. You know, I discovered that I was able to to charge up the force barrier very quickly that I didn't need the, the perk um, where you get the extra um, melee charge from grenade kills. I mean, it was, I didn't need it. So I feel like the, the ability to melee faster is gonna be more beneficial. So then, like, like I said, it's just something that you learn from, from experimenting, try different um, perks on your weapons, different sites. You know, try different um, abilities on your on your loadout to find out what what works better for you. You know, mess around with different different grenades and and see what's gonna you know work to your to your play style and what's gonna work better for you. But just having a lot of fun with this loadout. I usually play my hunter, um, just taking the advantage of of trying the Titan. Um, I don't normally play. Uh, take a look at this headshot real quick. Now watch where that, that dot is. That, and that comes up as a headshot right there. So guys, I feel a little dirty about that. Um, but that just goes to show you the aim assist and the help you get with this, this hand cannon, the range. And the, the uh, aim assist is just so good. Like right here. Just the laser beam, guys. Um, you know, I tell you, it's the best hand cannon um, for PvP gameplay. I'm not just making things up. You know, the great thing about that hand cannon um, and the shotgun is that they're both legendary. You know, they're just beasts of weapons. You know, it allows me to to use an exotic in my in, in my heavy slot. You know, right here, you see me using uh, the truth and there's nothing, uh, you know, more OP than than the truth rocket launcher. Um, I think I get in this gameplay. I end up getting heavy twice. Like that's going to give me three rockets every time I get heavy, and um, so a total of six rockets. I end up getting a total of six kills. I mean, the truth is just that good. And if you're able to have that open slot, uh, exotic slot, and you're heavy, take advantage of it and and you know either use the truth or the bolt caster exotic sword um, it's really great when you can find a legendary weapon that's just as good if not better than uh, than an exotic you know look at that guy go flying off the map um, but yeah just some really great weapons that they're that they're giving you from from Iron Banner. Now, the biggest part of that is both of these weapons, the hand cannon and the shotgun, neither one of these, I don't think, uh, were purchased. These were both drops, and I just got very lucky with um, with the rolls on them. That's a big part of it, but that's one of the things that, that I really like about this game is um, you can, you know, everybody can get 
this Daytree's retort shotgun, at, you know, at some point, but are they going to be able to get it with uh, with some great rolls on it? And uh, in one of my previous videos, I mentioned Titans in their bubbles, and basically the the tip was to stay out of out of the bubble. And I don't know what it is about people, but they just love to run in into this thing. I mean. Just, They, you know, they're just feeding me kills, guys. Um, you know, I made a video about that. I mentioned it quickly, you know, and uh, apparently uh, the guys that I'm playing with um, did not, you know, see my video. So that's a shame, guys. Um, if you're seeing this or you saw my previous video, you know, learn from it. Don't challenge a tight in his bubble unless you have a super available, unless you've got Fist of Havoc ready to go. Um, Golden Gun, you know, a Blade Dancer can get in there and do enough damage. Um, even then, I still wouldn't recommend it. I mean, it's easier just just to be patient and, and, and walk away. But it's so much fun. It never surprises me how people just, they really feel like there's something great in, inside that bubble. Even though you're standing there and you got, you know, no backup plans on and a shotgun or... You know, Helm of Saint 14. You know, the Titans are just beasts. They're tanks. They're, they're, and if they're in their bubble, they're even even stronger. And there's just no reason to ever, ever challenge them. So, stay away from those bubbles, guys. Thing is just a machine. But I have been enjoying Rift more than I thought I would. I uh, wasn't too sure at first, but um, it does have some very exciting moment especially if you're able to get a hold of the of the spark um, just really exciting trying to to fight your way watch this right here guys what's the damage now you can see the damage change 81 to 90 watch it again 81 to 88 um, and that's the first time I've seen that. I'm not sure what's causing that. You know, I'm thinking maybe it's because uh, that guy was a lower light level. Um, so it did more damage. It's just weird that it would show damage and then quickly change like that. But that is the first time I had ever seen anything like that. Um, but you saw the range on that hand cannon. It's, you know, I'm doing 81.90. Or 88, 91 damage uh, headshot is just, it's just ridiculous. So just a, a beast of a hand cannon. But if you have, definitely try out this loadout. If you, you know, a lot of people don't use, well, one, they don't use Defender. Two, they don't use no backup plans. But if you, you know, if you enjoy Titan and enjoy um, just being a tank in PvP, you know, try to, you know, take your time and try to build this this loadout guys it's just a lot of fun and uh, I've been practicing with my my slide shotgun melee I almost got him with the shotgun but I was able to finish up with the melee right there and that kicks in the, that force barrier you know either the shotgun kill um, or the melee either one of them give you that um, give you that force barrier and look it just it just makes you a tank because you got you know full health you got to overshield um, only problem is when you when you run out of uh, shotgun ammo that does happen but I've been getting a little bit a little bit better and you know, I do have the chest armor and the leg armor that provides um, you know additional shotgun ammo ammo uh, so definitely take take advantage of that if you're going to be running this build so um, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go Enjoy the rest of the gameplay, and I'll talk to y'all next time. Heavy ammo inbound. Spark charging.
Heavy ammo available. The spark is available. Nothing. They stopped you. Learn from this. Charging the spark. One final push and victory is yours. Amazing. I never thought a warlock game could stir my blood. 